So alright guys welcome back in cat camp pdf so in today's tutorial gonna be on mill this is gonna be little bit advanced than other tutorials i'm gonna split this tutorial in two parts in the first one we're gonna draw a geometry and then in the second one we're gonna do machining of this part so for this one we're gonna do geometry only so all right let's get started first of all we're gonna draw a Geometry for that go to wireframe click over here and then select rectangle tab click over here and then simply just draw a square of 5 by 5 so what width and height gonna be 5 inch and make sure anchor to center is enabled click over here and then click OK and create new operation and then similarly rectangle square width this time 4 inch insides anchor to center is enabled so click ok now we're gonna draw an ellipse for that you need to go to over here click in the bottom of rectangle tab and then click ellipse and for that we're gonna draw in the center point so click over here and then dimension over here a as 0.71 inch and then b as 0.75 click ok and now we're gonna go to our fillet identities over here and select fillet chains then hold shift key and then click over here to the inner square click ok and then change our radius to 1 inch click ok and now we're gonna go to our levels tab for that you need to go to view and then click over here to levels and name our first level as a wireframe and then create another level by clicking over here add a new level and then name this as a solid and then simply make sure your sorry we forget one step click back to the wireframe tab and then go to transform and then click over here on translate and then select our ellipse and selection and make our z to negative point 25 and make sure it's move and then click ok this you gonna see in later on why we did this one so now we again go back to our levels and then this time make sure this blue tick is on solid tab so solid level is enabled now you can cancel it now and then simply go to transform and then click on sorry go to solids and click on extrude and then select outer square click ok and then make its distance to one inch and make sure it's in bottom other side for that click over here to reverse so click ok now again go to extrude and this time select inner square click ok and now our distance is gonna be 0.75 and then gonna be cut body and then click ok and create another operation then select ellipse then click ok and now we're gonna make sure the add box is enabled and this time our distance is gonna be same 0.75 and then our advanced section over here make sure draft is enabled and change the angle to 10 degree and then reverse is enabled and over here actually we need to change the distance to 0 0.5 click ok and now you can see our geometry is almost ready only the fillets are left so click over here to the constant fillet then select the make sure only edge is enabled so disable other options so only edge is enabled so click over here 
example so just deselect it and click the inner shape hold shift key so that the old chain is gonna select so click ok and change it radius to 0.375 and then click ok and create new operation and similarly select the bottom surface of the shape click ok and then change its radius to 0.25 and then click ok create another operation this time select the bottom of ellipse click ok and change its radius to 0.1 create another operation top top of ellipse hold shift key click ok and then this time 0 0.01 click ok so as you can see our geometry is ready so in next part we're gonna machine this so for now thanks for watching make sure to watch the next part of this video i'm gonna be putting a link in description below to check it out so thanks for watching guys if you like our video please hit like button and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks